What's up everybody, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. Behind London, Paris and Rome, Barcelona is the fourth most visited city in all of Europe. With over 30 million visitors a year, this summer has taken on a completely different vibe. Normally a hot spot for all of the tourists, the Gothic Quarter is practically empty. Many of you have been asking what the Gothic Quarter looks like, so let's check it out. The one thing we need to do is always wear our masks, so let's mask up and get going. You can see in the cathedral there's not too many people out here at all. Uh, usually pretty packed all around. Uh, still tourist visits on the inside of the cathedral. That's nine euros now, so they've raised that price. That's, that's good, but not a whole lot going on on the outside. I love this space on any normal year. The Gothic Quarter is really, really noisy with all the tour groups and all the people coming to visit. So this spot right in here, just between the museums, is always a cafe set up right behind me. See, that's closed. But usually it's a really nice spot where there's not too much sound and you can really escape all of it. Another plaza that's usually packed with tourists, Plaza del Rey. You can see the royal palace right behind me and very odd to find it at this hour of the morning just with nobody in it. We're in the Plaza de San Jaume, the government square. And since March 14th, when the state of alarm was called, Obviously, nobody was allowed to come in for quite some time. July 1st was that first date that tourism was allowed to come back into the city. And a lot of people thought maybe we could save the summer or something along those lines. But with the increase in cases in the last couple days, last couple weeks, a lot of other countries now have been saying maybe it's not the best idea to go over to Spain. So unfortunately, you can see less people around. Countries like Germany, countries like the UK, are recommending not to go over some place in quarantine for those visitors that actually do come over and and visit the eu put out a list of the countries that were allowed to come in in mid-july and every two weeks that was going to be revised now countries like the u.s are not allowed to come over into europe and within that countries inside of the eu are even recommending not coming over to spain in Barcelona specifically inside of Catalonia where the cases have been increasing in the last couple weeks. So what we saw were groups and people starting to come in but now we have kind of a little bit of a dip again. The San Felipe Neri Plaza is another one of those that's really been changed. You can see there's just nobody in here at all. There's actually just one person in here with us. Uh, normally, all the tour groups are coming over here. You can have tour groups as many as 20, 30 people. When 10 of those get in here at the same time, that's when you start to have a problem. During the school year, they close down the plaza. And during the morning, so even just right now, at this time, we wouldn't even be in here. Just because the kids are running around in school, this is basically their, their patio. And it just got out of control.
planned on doing this video all in kind of one take, but it's hot. So we're gonna stop and get a drink. Uh, fortunately, I was walking by, we saw Bar del Pi was still open. Now that we cooled down, we're ready to keep going. Another plaza, the Plaza Real, normally filled with bars and restaurants. You can see a lot of them are actually closed. A lot of restaurants and bars have opted just not even to open up. It's not even worth it. We're also in August and with the COVID measures, it's kind of just increased all of that even more. So now we've got August and COVID and you're gonna see even less people here. the Plaza de la Merced, which is one of the lesser visited plazas, down closer towards the port. And you can see there's not a lot of action going on, but one of the streets that comes off as we're gonna head down in just a minute is the Carré de la Merced. And it's got a lot of different cool bars to go to. So we'll see if any of those are open. Made it down to the bottom of the Gothic Quarter. Behind me would be Barceloneta. And then over on my right is that Bourne area. So we're gonna head back through and see some of the other smaller streets. You can see so far, a lot of empty streets. A lot quieter than a normal August day. Thanks for joining me through the Gothic Quarter today. I hope it lets you get an idea of what's going on. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Did anything surprise you? Or just when are you coming back to Barcelona? If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit subscribe and you won't miss out on any of the other updates.